Hello friends, welcome to yet another fascinating session of Wisdom Zone. This is Shubro and friends in today's video you're gonna get some important expressions for fluent English conversation. So it is my earnest request to all of you please watch this video to learn all the important expressions I am gonna discuss for fluent English conversation and if you still haven't subscribed to this channel please do not wait immediately go ahead and subscribe to Wisdom Zone and hit the bell icon to get the first notification. So without wasting any more time let's get started. So friends, welcome back once again to this fascinating session on expressions for fluent English conversation. And as I have promised you, in today's video, you are going to get some important expressions for fluent English conversation. So without further delay, let's get started with today's important expressions for fluent English conversation. So friends, the first expression I am going to discuss is on your screen that is bump into someone. Bump into someone means to meet someone by chance, accidentally or unexpectedly. It is a phrasal verb in fact. I hope you have understood it means to meet someone by chance unexpectedly. So as you see the example last night I bumped into my old friend Tom. That means I suddenly or unexpectedly met him. Up next we are going to dive into the second expression for today that is feel blue. Let me repeat it's feel blue. Feel blue means to feel depressed or sad. When someone is feeling blue that means the person is feeling sad or depressed. So as you see the example, I felt blue when I heard about the accident. So I'm quite sure it's clear how to use this wonderful expression feel blue and sound quite fluent. Up next we are going to dive into the next one that is choke up. Let me repeat. The third important expression is choke up. It means to unable to speak or almost begin to cry because of sadness or strong emotion. So that kind of situation is called choke up. Obviously it's also a phrasal verb. As you see the example, he choked up while giving the farewell speech. That means he was in fact about to cry. He was almost crying because of sadness, strong emotion perhaps while delivering the farewell speech. Up next we are going to dive into the next one that is have a ball. Have a ball is a very important expression. It means to have fun. So we can use it in this way. As you see the example, we had a ball at the party. So I'm quite sure it's clear that means we had fun in fact. We had a great time at the party. Up next we are going to dive into the last expression for today that is out of kilter. So let me repeat this out of kilter. So this expression out of kilter means something or someone that is not completely right or is not working in the usual or proper way. So that's called out of kilter. So let me repeat the meaning it means something or someone that is not right or it can be also used to mean that something that is not working in the usual or proper way that means it's not working it's malfunctioning as you see the example my computer was out of kilter last week that means it was not working properly maybe it was malfunctioning I'm quite sure it's clear so friends today I gave you some extremely useful expressions for fluent English conversation please incorporate them in your conversation and make sentences and comment below and if you still haven't subscribed to this channel please do not wait immediately go ahead and subscribe to wisdom zone and hit the bell icon to get the first notification so stay tuned for further informative videos friends and please do not forget to like share comment and subscribe to wisdom zone